metrics that we talked about in the article in the new 2.0 software. First, we'll go over the screen capture here that you see. Open up an app, we'll just use Rotary Dial for example. Hold that home button, and hold the sleep wake button at the same time, and there you have your picture. Go back to your photo library, and there it is right there. Oh, not that, it's email. But into your photo library, and there's a screenshot you took. From there, you can email it to people or save it as a wallpaper. I usually just sync it up with my iPhone library and then put it on the web. Next we'll go in and show you the new .com options that you have. Say you want to go to a website that's not a .com, well they have more options underneath the .com button. Just hold it and you get options such as .net and .org. Just slide your finger over to the one you want and it automatically puts it up there for you. There's also this option under other characters, under, thing, under most of the vowels, you can have like the A. When you go over the N, you got your other character choices. And things like the U and the I will give you more like that too. Neat little trick that's added to the software and the keyboard. And finally, the third one we want to talk about is saving a picture from the web or email. We'll use a lovely website iPhone Nuts to show you. Just tap and hold it and you get the options to save or open as a link. You can open as a link or just go in there and save as an image. And that will be saved again to your your library on your, your camera roll on your photo library. And from there you can do the same things as email it or save it as a wallpaper. So there it is. Behaves just like normal. Saved from the web. And that's all today. See you guys next time.